Hey folks, uh, I'm going to try to fit in one more today. Uh, I'm going to do a quick one, a uh, quick video on some of my favorite, very accessible herbs. So I get this question fairly regularly. Um, I have a very large, you know, apothecary of herbs just to make the amount of items that I have on my site. I have about uh, 800 items and services listed on my site. So as you can imagine, I have, I'm like up to my eyeballs and herbs here. But um, I wanted to go over a few that most likely you can get at your natural health food store. Or if you have, we have a bulk tea uh, supply by us. So you can go in there and like they have lots of jars of separate separate herbs and seeds and roots you can make your own tea if you'd like to you may have something like that near you if you don't like i said if you have a natural health food store they will most likely have bulk herbs there you can also buy these online buy the ounce buy a half pound buy a pound however much you need i buy stuff by the pound because i just have to use so much of it i just need a really large quantity so um i don't have you'll have to excuse me i have a cough drop my throat is my voice is even deeper than normal right now. So um, the first one I wanna talk about is wild cherry bark. Wild cherry bark is a manifestation herb. It can be added to absolutely any working to add more power and also speed results. Um, I, I could not live without wild cherry bark. I use it in all of my personal work I add it to a lot of my client work. It's basically like a natural precipitato powder. If you use any, if you've ever heard of precipitato powder to use in your workings, and it's like a metaphysical, you know, metaphys metaphysical booster, metaphysical explosive. That's how I feel about wild cherry bark. Except for, it's a very, it's a, it's not such a jolt of change. It it is a lot of energy, but it's very smooth, and it just allows you to really create and build uh, energy and power and strength and a lot of manifestation power behind your work. So wild cherry bark, number one. N number two, lovage root. L-O-V-A-G-E, lovage root. Um, we, grow, we can grow this here. I bet you if you go to a really good nursery by you, a plant nursery and you look in the herb section, you'll find lovage plants and you can probably grow them in your garden. I grow them in my garden. So um, you can use the, the leaves off of it, which are great. I prefer the root. You can also buy the dried root online. It's kind of a, a light cream colored root. That is number almost, I would say for me, number one for um, attraction work. Now, when we talk about attraction work, I'm sure I've gone over this before in videos. We're not talking about, oh, hey, that guy's fine. I want him to think I'm fine. We're talking about attracting our goals to us, um, manifesting our goals, attracting the things that we need in our life. This could be anything, a healthy relationship, a job, um, a house. It could be anything when we're talking about attraction work. Literally, all we're talking about is attracting your goal to you. So, love it, Drew. That's the best thing for that. If you combine the lo lovage root with lemon zest, lemon peel, which you can buy dried online, I'm sure it's at any health food store, or obviously lemons are cheap. Get your own lemons and, you know, slice the rind off and dry it up yourself. Um, hyssop. For any, you know, protection, cleansing, purification work, you will need hyssop. That is another one. We can also grow that here. Um, it is usually available in a well-stocked plant nursery. You can buy the plant and grow it yourself. You could grow any of these in pots for the summertime if you're in an apartment. And then in the, in the fall, hack them off, dry them inside. And then the next year, you know, it's like three or four bucks for a plant of these. So you're not, you're not throwing away some big investment, especially when you've harvested all summer long. And then in the fall you you cut it off and you bring all that into harvest M most people one plant is going to give them enough for their workings okay because i mean most people aren't working on something every single day excuse me <coughs> that's what the cough drops were so <coughs> hyssop is really good for purific purification protection cleansing rites 
<coughs> God, like a tuberculosis ward. So spearmint is next. I just talked about this in my last video, which was, um, I just did one on lamps and I was talking about squash and pumpkins being prolific and abundant because of their vining habit and their large leaves, large flowers, things like this. So mint is another one like this. Mint is very versatile. The reason I'm giving you these herbs, um, several of these have multiple uses. So what I'm trying to do is get you to be able to stock an apothecary that you will, probably about half of these are gonna have uh, two or three purposes you can do with them. So you don't have to have like 500 things. So I'm trying to make this a little economical for you. So spearmint or peppermint. I prefer peppermint more for protection um, and spearmint more for um, abundance, prosperity, money, and love. Both um, mints are very invasive, um, prolific plants. So we can also use them in binding because of how they, how they will move into an area in your garden and they will actually choke other things out. That's what we mean by invasive. They will smother other things. So you can use these in any of those aspects. Um, it's great for love, it's great for binding, it's great for, for money. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of purposes. Um, basil is also very similar. You can use basil. Again, you can buy the live plant. They even have these at the grocery store, the mint too. If you go to your grocery store and your produce section, they'll have the little live plants and pots there and you can, just, and you can buy one and have it. Um, so you don't even have to make another stop at a, at a plant nursery. You just get it when you're getting your groceries. Um, basil is for protection, for love, and for, and for money. So that's another one with three purposes. Uh, these are just really good, I don't want to say all-purpose herbs, but they're covering several spectrums here for you, several areas of the spectrum, let me say. Uh, rose is another great one. A lot of people only think of rose as for love, but when you use the leaves and the stem, when we talk about plants that have thorns on them, that would be something we would use for protection, or it could be used in hex work. A lot of times we will use thorns to um, you know, represent our intentions going into a candle or going into a doll, so we can project our intentions on that candle or on the doll using sympathetic magic. So these can be good intentions, they could be bad. The point is, is it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like when you're in class and your teacher has like a pointer and they're point to things on the board behind them. Well, this is how your thorns are. Your thorns are directing where your attention should be. It's directing your attention in the candle or the doll or whatever. So um, when you, if you get rose, if somebody gives you a rose or a dozen roses, if you're lucky, or maybe two dozen, I don't know, whatever, um, keep all the leaves and the stems if you have thorns on them. A lot of times florist roses, they cut the thorns off or they have bred them to the point to where they're so hybridized that they no longer even develop thorns, which is a bummer in my opinion, but most people don't like thorns on their roses. I guess I'm weird. Um, so keep your, keep your stems, keep your leaves. They're still a very good um, protection herb and power herb. And then of course your petals can be used depending on the color. I use roses all the time in my work, depending on the color. Yellow for wealth and success, purple for power and courage and conquering, um, you know, red for sex, strength, power, pink for love, white for purification. So you don't just have to say, oh, it's a rose, it's for love. You need to, you know, put a little thought into it. How can I use this? What color is it? Do does it have thorns on it? You know, start start you know start experimenting a little bit and writing down what you're what you're finding about what you what you're using in your work, how it's working out for you. Um, patchouli is a great one. Uh, wealth, fertility, protection. A uh, patchouli is also used in a lot of um, hexing oils like dark arts oils, things like that. It's a real, it's like a driver. I call, I call patchouli a driver. It is basically whatever you add it to, it's gonna, it's just gonna, it's gonna nail that intent. So I love patchouli. It's one of my all time favorites. Um, lavender is a great one. Lavender is a very soft, soothing herb. We know that a lot of 
Um, aromatherapy is based around lavender. It's also great for healing and forgiveness work. So <clears throat> a lot of times people will come to me with love issues and uh, they'll say, oh, you know, um, I'm fighting with so-and-so and we're split up right now. How do I get them back? And I'll say, well, why are you split up? And they'll say, well, we have, you know, trust issues or, or whatever, or they've got commitment issues or I've got commitment issues because I was hurt in the past or I was abused in the past and I have trouble trusting people and staying with them. You know, all, all sorts of, all sorts of things happen to us in life and, and, and make us, and make us who we are. Um, Lavender is a really good one for healing relationship issues. It's uh, it's very cleansing, soothing, purifying, healing to help you sort of clear out that sludge, clear out that baggage, help you move on, help you get to a better place where you can feel better about yourself, where you can love yourself so you can be in a healthy relationship. Um, the only one I have here, <coughs> excuse me, as an example, I sell these master roots um, on my site if you're interested in one. These are harder to come by. That's the only reason I'm telling you that. All the other ones you could probably find in your health food store. This one you're not going to find. So master root. Again, this is, so the idea with this is this helps you master anything that you add it to. So you're looking for a job, throw some master root in there. You're looking for a relationship, throw some master root in there. You need protection from from people throw some mastery in there it is all about mastery of life and and all of the situations that arise in life in general whether they are our doing or outsiders doing or whatever you have to find a way to keep the peace and keep the balance in your life so that's where the root work and herbal work comes in so um i hope that was helpful and i hope you guys can stock up on maybe a few of these so you can start doing your own things. You can load candles with them. You can um, sprinkle them over um, hot, you know, incense charcoals to make incense. You can add them to vinegars to make herbal vinegars for your food or to make washes for your home. You can add them to um, clear colorless alcohol like vodka to make a tincture out of for medicinal purposes or also for cleansing purposes around your home. Um, you can add them to mojo bags. You can put them down as floor sweeps. So when you're cleaning, you know, you sprinkle some of these down on the floor, sort of cover your home in these energies and then sweep it all up after it's absorbed all the negativity and disposed of it. So, I mean, you can go wild. There is, there's no, there's no limit to what you can do. And also most of these are edible. Start throwing this stuff on your food, you know, involve it in your food. Um, make that part of your ritual, part of your everyday routine. Involve your spirituality into your everyday routine so you're not separated. Then you will you will become more in balance once you start to integrate it into all of these everyday aspects of your life. Okay, I hope that, I hope that helps you out and I will talk to you all soon. Uh, again, have a great week. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you for watching as always. And if you have anything you'd like to see a video on, Please uh, don't hesitate. Feel free to ask. I try to get back to people as quick as possible. And um, yeah, take care. Bye.